In this tutorial, I'll show you how to move a live WordPress site to local server. You'll take a site like this, you'll export it, and you'll import it into a local site. You may ask why would you move a live WordPress site to local server? So you take, for example, this site and then move it to this local website. A reason for doing it is if you're installing a theme or a plugin, it might, they might break the website, so you're better off testing it on a website like this to look on a local server than breaking the live website. To move a live WordPress site to local server, you need to install a plugin, and you need to do this on your live website and your local website, so we'll do that now. If you log into your live website, and then you click on plugins at the side, then click on add new plugin, then search for this plugin, then click install now, then choose activate. You'll see it appear on the side there. Then log into your local website and repeat the steps by going to plugin, click on add new plugin, search for this plugin, click on install. and then activate it. We'll now export the live WordPress website. So go into your live hosted website and then click on all-in-one WP migration here. Then choose export. Then click on export to. Choose the file. And then it's basically gonna create a file that you can pick up in your downloads folder and you can click on this flashing thing here to download it. Next we'll import the exported website into the local website. So go into the local website and then click on the all-in-one WP migration on the side. Then click on import and here we'll import the file that was downloaded before. Here, what I would say is please act with caution because the local website will be overwritten. So if there's anything you want to keep, please back it up. Otherwise, you can just overwrite the website, but please act with caution because it will you will lose everything if you haven't backed it up. So to import, click on import from then choose file, then choose the file that was exported. Again, this reminds you um, that basically it overwrites the files on the local website. So click proceed if you're happy with that. And then choose finish. After importing the file to your local site, click on the home button in the top left and you'll see that it's basically taken this here and it's imported into here. If you want to log into your local WordPress website after moving the website from the live website, head to the URL and then after it, hit a forward slash and then wp-login.php and then hit enter. Enter the username and password that came from your live website and then click login. In this tutorial you've seen how you can move a live WordPress site to local server in a matter of minutes. You can also use in the hosting provider Cloudways within a matter of only a couple of clicks. You can clone a website, make changes to it, for example, installing plugins, themes, and then in one click you can push it back. So check out Cloudways, there's a link to it in the description where you can install it for completely free. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like. There's also in the description a link to builderwebs.com where you can check out all the tutorials, including this one. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm Jonathan from Builderwebs.